हेलो गाइस दिस इज चेतन भोले एंड यू आर वाचिंग भोले मैकटेक एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन कार्बोरेटर कार्बोरेटर एंड दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच टुवर्ड्स दैट सो दिस इज अ कार्बोरेटर ऑफ माय बाइक एंड आई एम आई वांट टू एक्सप्लेन द पार्ट्स फर्स्ट सो दिस इज द वेंचरी वेंचरी ट्यूब ऑफ दैट कार्बोरेटर फ्रॉम हेयर द एयर रशेज इन इट एंड दिस इज टुवर्ड्स द इनलेट मैनीफोल्ड so and this is for the inlet uh, sorry accelerator wall and uh, this is for fuel inlet and this is for egr egr that is exhaust gas recirculation this sends the vacuum towards that so that according to that the exhaust gases came into the uh, inlet manifold and uh, this is the adjustable screw that ad adjusted the fuel that is entering into the uh, venturi and uh, this is the chalk wall i will be explaining it later and uh, this is the float chamber and uh, here inside it is float and the needle valve and the fuel is present inside it so okay let's start so when the piston goes down in an engine the uh, vacuum created in that is uh, uh, It causes the air to rush from this side, and from as this side is connected to the inlet manifold, the air fuel mixture comes from this and enter into the inlet manifold. So when the air rushes into it, uh, due to bigger area, the vol the velocity is lower, and uh, as at this point the area is smaller, so velocity is higher. So at higher velocity, the pressure is obviously low. So uh, since the fuel yeah or any other fluid always travel from high pressure to low pressure so the f fuel inside this fluid chamber uh, will try to travel from this uh, high pressure to the uh, because here inside it is the atmospheric pressure so uh, the fuel will try to come from atmospheric pressure to the lower pressure so this uh, this extruded part is the opening of that fuel pipeline so the fuel travels from this float chamber uh, towards this from through this pipe and uh, when you are accelerating more so there is another pipeline that is coming from the fuel uh, to the uh, venturi so this is the pipeline that i am uh, trying to show you and uh, here is the opening of that pipeline you can adjust uh, the fuel entering through this pipe uh, by this screw so this is how it works the basic carburetor and uh, this uh, accelerator valve works as when you the when you uh, when you pull the accelerator wire the valve opens uh, as you can see this is uh, i am trying to show you by, by my finger so when the when you are not accelerating in the accelerator wire so the uh, valve is in this position and the least uh, the least or idling air is going through the going through this valve and the engine is in idling condition so when you pull the accelerator wire or presses the accelerator pedal the valve opens like this and more more fuel can enter enter from this side enter from this side uh, and uh, less uh, and more the air fuel mixture will enter into the engine so this is how it works accelerator valve so okay now uh, you can see this is the chalk wall when when the engine is not working or due to low temperatures or any other reason you just uh, pulls the accelerator uh, pulls the chalk wall and when you pulls the chalk wall it is in on position when it is in on, on position it just closes the uh, inlet of the air that is rushing into it so when you closes this the air is started the air starts entering from these two holes and when the air is starting from uh, entering from two walls the air the volume of air is very less and uh, since the fuel is coming out from continuously from this float wall so the air and fuel mixture will be higher uh, will be rich because the volume of the fuel in that mixture is more so when the volume of air in this mixture is more then the power generated in the engine will obviously higher because of the uh, higher volume of the fuel so in this way the uh, engine will uh, start running easily or faster 
but it is not uh, compuls it is not uh, required to always pull the chalk wall because the efficiency decreases very rapidly when uh, when you uh, open the chalk wall so since the fuel is higher so now i am going to explain how the float what is inside the float chamber and how it works so this is the float chamber and uh, here inside it there is uh, it, the fuel is always present inside it and this is the needle uh, or you you may say this is a pipe uh, that, that is uh, present so that it can pass the impurities inside the fuel as uh, many a times when uh, we fill the fuel uh, most of the times the uh, water get uh, by get into the fuel get uh, uh, by side by side with the fuel due to which since water is has le less density than the fuel so it is floating on the fuel uh, in the in the float chamber when the fuel is floating inside it so the water uh, can pass through this needle and uh, you can see the pipeline coming out of this and through this path the water goes out or any other impurities that is floating on it and you can see the dust particles are sticky on these wall in the walls of this float chamber so the dust get uh, get stick to these walls and the water or fluid that uh, or that any other impurity that is floating on the fuel can pass through this and now uh, it is a float and and uh, uh, it it actuates with the uh, fuel amount of fuel in this chamber so when the fuel increases in this chamber the float uh, lifts up and when the float lifts up the needle wall inside it uh, the needle wall is here and the needle wall close, closes the path of the fuel and path of the fuel entering through this pipeline through this pipeline and uh, closes the entry of the fuel and when the uh, fuel is consumed and the level of fuel is decreasing the float goes uh, down and the, when the float goes down uh, the a needle wall opens and uh, the fuel starts entering in, inside this and then again the fuel uh, when the fuel is filled up the float chamber float rises up and the needle wall is closed so i just wanted to show you the needle wall so this is the needle wall you can see it is uh, pointed shaped so uh, when when the needle wall rises it closes the chamber uh, it closes that pipeline and the entry of fuel and when the needle wall comes down it uh, opens the uh, when the fuel comes uh, starts coming into the float chamber so this is enough for the carburetors hope you like this video if you liked it so please share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i 